And I'm back. Uh, I just decided to order some food. So, there we go. Food will arrive in about an hour or so. And not going to take an hour to cook, so get it back then. Uh, as usual, in order to keep the time updated, I'm going to go ahead and load. So you can hear the start of the goldfish poop sound, or jellyfish poop sound. I don't know why my brain always thinks jellyfish poop when it comes to this. Anyway, so we've got another battle ahead. We do have a little bit of time before we have the double battle. Um, I was mistaken as to when that's happening. But we need to go to Reed Highway, which is one of the more interesting battles of this game. I actually do remember what's going on with this. There is a chance that we might have a triple battle at the end of this chapter. That's the part I don't know. But we definitely have a double battle. I do know that one. We've got triple ash! Now, what, what was that voice? We've got triple ash. An enemy patrol is heading this way. And what's worse, the leader of them is the Crimson... Uh, the leader of the Crimson Guard is among them. We are fighting our first Crimson Guard leader. Remember, there are five leaders of the Crimson Guard. If they spot us, we lose the element of surprise. Once they see the gate, they'll know anyway. In either case, we can't have them here. Hide behind the trees. If we move, they'll notice us and flee for sure. Wait until the time is right and hit them with everything you got. This battle took me forever to figure out. Why Hux decided to wait all the way over there? No idea. So, this has Death of Ash or the enemy escaping as a victory, con as a loss condition. So, we're going to make a save. Well, we don't need to make a save at the start. There's a built-in function. So, they are going to be crossing the straw bridge. I'll get to what they are in a moment. And they will eventually see people. We can stop their advance. <coughs> um, this is actually one argument for having Huxley being a monk, by the way. Uh, we can stop them their advance by having Huxley going over, pressing the button, walking over, and basically just pushing this box in the way. It'll cause them to kind of bounce back and forth between these locations. It makes it an easier death trap. Having said that, I don't use that option. Um, there is a hidden object on this battlefield, but it's not required. It's just nice. Right. Multiple web browsers, multiple windows. You know how it goes. Um... Where is it? it? Might actually be over by them, isn't it? Yep. This is the object. It's for a weapon that we can just buy, so I'm not going to bother. So, fun fact. Um, this is. I'm going to show you the way I played it initially, and then we'll actually do the real battle. So this is going to be really easy. rebels are doing around here? They can't be planning to attack the prison, can they? Somebody, get away from here fast and warn the others. And we lose. So, what I didn't know the first time I played through this game is that standing around and doing nothing counts as taking an action. What you need to do is end the turn. Which, I didn't realize I can do without moving everyone. This battle took me hours to figure out when I was a kid. And all you have to do is that. See? 
Yes, they have actually proper leveled guard puppies this time. And it is a mixture of the crappy versions and the assholes in red. So, um, a little bit closer. So let me go over the characters. So we already know what guard puppies are like. They can poison just like before. They don't look very nice. We have our first actual, we're fighting the boys in red. That's right, we are actually fighting real Crimson Guard, although I think that portrait might be a little glitched. Because... No, actually, that... no, it's probably a blue bland bandolier. Uh, there's a couple of Centurions. And finally, we have Lando. Lando? She's an assassin. Um, she is the bow-type Crimson Guard captain. You'll notice that there are five types, there are, in fact, I, there are six casters, aren't there? Are there six classes? Main classes, so I'm lumping in classes together. So there's Fist Slash Sword. Um, we already know who that is. It's Kane. We've seen Kane. Um, bow, Lando, right here. Uh, there's Armor. There's Hawk. And then there's Cassie. So, those are the five. Naturally, they have self-healing because pretty much every boss in this game has self-healing at this point. At least self-healing. So, yep. I really wish I could loot her equipment. But yeah, this is Lando. So, technically, I could actually make the party get started on any turn. They will eventually notice us, if I remember correctly. But I don't think that happens until they get closer to Hux. Dots. I wouldn't do it this turn anyway, because they're still too close. I mean, those guard dogs move fast, because they're monk type. I'm going to save it at this turn, for reference. I think the game actually wants you to do next turn. Yeah. Just a tiny bit longer is what they're saying. So let's go ahead and save it here. So we at least have a good spot to come back to when I inevitably screw up. Also, please give us a better top-down view. Not that that helps for the enemy turn, but... See, I don't understand why we're allowing them to be pushed back that far. And you would think they would see us by now. Alright. I personally think this is a good turn to kick off the party, because I could just move here phase shift, and hit everything. And I personally think that's an excellent idea. The game wants you to go one more turn. And I don't understand why. Especially with Hux kind of trapped down here. Oh, actually nobody, on the, they can hop through there. Let's make a second save. I'm going to let it go one more turn so you can see the final dialogue. But I think I'm going to take the other one. Because I don't think they're going to be in a better spot. I think they're going to be in a far worse location because of where the guard dogs are. I know what the game's trying to think of. Oh, it's two more turns, isn't it? It's basically getting them all trapped in that little area. But 
That's not a great way of handling this in my mind. Yeah, so we're going to load. From backup ram, cartridge ram, and battle save. And now we're actually going to do this the way I want to do it, which is at this point. Or one more turn. No, it's at this point. I hit everything except for one guard puppy. That sounds great. Phase shift. I think they might know we're here now. Just saying. Unfortunately, none of these goobers are weak against magic. Otherwise, that would have been hilarious. Yeah, I damn well hope you level up from that. That was an awesome move. Good job, Zohar. You're going to finish off that Crimson Archer. Perk! Yeah, axe in back. That doesn't look so great on you, does it? Frog, you're going to finish off a puppy. Sorry, pupper. Holy crap, it survived! That might be a problem. Kind of depending on killing him. Okay. Out of curiosity, attack 65, attack 83. Yeah, there's no way Sarah's going to finish one off. I might as well do this. Yeah, this is the downside with Diego being stuck there as an archer. It's actually the biggest downside with Diego being an archer is that he gets stuck in this battle. I'm not even going to bother with the bridge. I mean, I should because of those two card dogs, shouldn't I? Well, we'll see how they run. Which, same line before. What are these rebels do? I'm sorry. What are these rebels doing around here? They can't be planning on to attack the prison, can they? Somebody, get away from here fast and warn the others. So, fun fact about this battle, no one attacks you. It makes me very sad that the battle with Lando is one that you don't get a chance to see the attacks on. The others are moving that way. Interesting. Okay, so I only have three to deal with over here. Oh, I don't think I can make it. Let me reload. Let's let's make sure we do this right without wasting a huge amount of time. Sorry about this. I forgot about the fact that they're going to just run instead of fight. I mean, if they fought, this battle would be over in a turn or two. Okay. Why the hell they moved Huxley back there, of all people, I don't know. If Huxley was a monk, this would be fine. But Huxley's movement is garbage. You know what? Screw it. Mystic shield yourself. It's not like other RPGs where you get a penalty for taking your turn. All right. Yeah, you get it, you get a further puppy by moving there. Yep, that is the correct spot. By the way, I'm casting phase shift. Need more time. Phase shift's over. Oh. You know, the actual spell effect, not, not anything else. 
I mean, this is going to be the best phase shift I will ever have this game. Uh, outside of killing people, of course, but... Right, embed an axe into the back of this Crimson Guard. Because screw the Crimson Guard. Screw them in their fascist faces. I think it actually makes more sense to damage two than it is to attack one. Or to kill one. And the reason why is that they're not attacking me back. And thus are vulnerable. Ooh, I'm poisoned. That part does suck a bit, but that's okay. I don't think it's even going to last long for the poison to damage me. Enough. Ash, you're going to stand there. Although, you know, you could just do that. Yeah, let's just do that. I guess Ash is getting all the XP. Okay, all three of them were the highest level members of my party anyway, so. Three. Seven. I do wish it actually showed the real amount of damage and not just... All right. Yes, yes, I know. Those are running back. Those two puppies are running forward. That Centurion's running forward. That Centurion's running back. Lando's running back. Lando's gonna have it. Yep. That part sucks. But uh, somebody has a cure potion. Lots of people have cure potions. Okay. Hux. I think you can make it. You know what? No. We've seen too much of Mystic Shield. Bless weapon! It looks like the same thing with a pallet swap and a sword instead of a shield. Although it didn't slow down. That's weird. I, I just felt like it. It costs more MP. It's not worth doing that for Hux. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to hit any of them. I'm just double-checking really fast. Yeah, no. Uh, in that case... Diego, you're going to provide support over here. Unfortunately, they're facing me. Uh, I should have done that the other way around. Because it just dawned on me that Zohar is still hiding behind the bushes. And can phase shift again. Which he's going to do. By the way, phase shift. I would have rather Diego gotten the kill instead of Zohar, but that's okay. Alright, phase shift done. Um... 16... 17, 16, 17, 17. Okay, it doesn't actually matter. What direction are you facing, Lando? You're facing that way. Okay. Lando, bye. Ah, Kane, avenge me! That's it. That's all that we hear from a Crimson Guard general. It is not just the easiest battle to kill a Crimson Guard general in. With those wide eyes and just looking left and right a little bit. But, what? I think this was such a wasted move in my mind. It makes me sad. You're dead. So just the puppies and the centurions left. Or puppies and centurion singular left. which I'm going to cure using Sarah. Although, no, I can't reach with any ranged things. Cure wide. We actually get to use a curing spell. Yay! 
That actually slows down on the PS1 version, too. That's it. They're all going to try running down the bridge. And I think this is the turn that I can stop them. If not, it's next turn. Pretty sure it's this turn. Yep, they can't move here anymore. Sup. Unsposed now. Huxley basically just doesn't do anything this combat. Kind of sad. Sup. Yeah. Sup. Might as well healing circle. Sohar, you were MVP of this battle. Feel good about what you've done. You deserve your level 18-ness. Uh, I don't think it's possible for me to reach back there before the battle's done, but I'm going to try. Yeah, I can't shoot over that. In that case, move down here. So now they realize they're trapped and start moving forward, but they can't move very far because, well, I'm kind of in the way. And now you see what I mean by this is a really simple battle. Well, first, let's move the useless people. I mean, Huxley doesn't gain XP without me doing this right now, which kind of stinks, but that's okay. He's a healer. He's already the second highest level member in the party. Even though he was significantly below that earlier. Um, I think I need two more turns is the problem. Now there's one undamaged guard dog. I don't think this will actually do enough damage, but dang it, I'm actually going to use it. We don't get to see Stone Shower very often because it's such a crappy spell. Yeah, it only does 29 damage. That's fine. I just felt like it. I mean, they're very dead at this point. But I want to try to get the magic staff, dang it. They're actually trying to go around this way, by the way. All I have to do is have somebody stand, like, right here, and they won't be able to do anything. Speaking of standing in the wrong spot... Ah, I could actually heal. Except that there's nobody to target. Can I holy landing and hit something? No, sadly. How far can you move? Okay, you can move up to here next turn. Can Ash actually reach the thing I want him to? No. Next turn. I will let it push one more turn. Let's get it down to just one puppy. Uh, this puppy's going away. Who is lowest level? You are 16, you are 16. 
Um, Dolan, you need 26 more XP. You need 22. Okay, it's about the same. Bye, puppy. I'm sorry. I feel bad about hurting the puppies. Oh, um. They shouldn't kill it. Yeah. Yep, you're running there. You fool. Ash. Got the mage's staff. Aw, yeah. Ooh, wizard wand. That's not what it's called in the PS1 version. It looks like it's mostly the items that got renamed, but there's a couple of lines of dialogue as well. Alright, so we've got one at like 2 XP remaining, one at like 10. Either one of them would kill it. Actually, no, Dieko can't reach it. Well, that makes this easy. Actually, wait, I think it's science time. I am really curious about something, and I've never had this happen. So I don't know... How this works, so I'm going to science this. Because I can trap it. And I have no idea what happens. Aha! They won't attack even if I trap them. Interesting. Well. Before we do anything, I want the puppy to no longer be able to move. Then, Dolan, I'm sorry. Make the puppy go away. And that's it. That is the interesting battle. Again, I don't know if we're going to immediately go into another battle or not. I don't think we will. I hope not. But I know that we have a double battle coming up. We'll find out. Okay, yeah, we do have a regular save. So I hope you've enjoyed this internet. Um, I know it's a relatively short video. I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Oops, if I actually save first, doesn't it? All right. Bye.